Namaste you, welcome to Play in the Actor. This is the second in a series of videos designed to help you get what you want by developing your confidence and skills using the secrets of the stars. People have been trained to do the job of acting for thousands of years, from the shamans pretending to be the spirits that they summoned, to the legends of stage and screen that we admire today. They've developed endless ways of helping people connect with an audience and create magic before your very eyes. You can do it too. Lesson three in the book Play and the Actor, which is out in November. Actors aren't powerful people, they are people doing powerful things. Let's do some powerful things with today's lesson. So enjoy this week's video, which owes so much to yoga and martial arts, uh, but I'm bringing it to you through the Actors Studio. Let's go. Today's lesson is about breathing. Breathing is the most fundamentally important thing that we do. You can last a few days without water. You can last a few weeks without food. You can't last very long without breath. Two, three minutes, I think the world record is something like 20 minutes, but that's after years and years of training. So breathing is fundamental to our day-to-day -day living, obviously. But it's something else too. It's also the first sign that we see externally that a person's emotions have changed. If you get upset or angry or you fall in love, your breathing changes. The first thing that happens when you get a terror, a snake appears, a bear jumps out at you, is you <gasps> stop breathing. We can tell an awful lot by someone's breath. So learning to control it is a really important skill for an actor, both in reading the responses of other people and in creating the character that you want to create. So to learn to control it, we first have to find a way of getting back to the very basics. What we're going to do is this, we're going to start by finding a neutral position, or at least as neutral as we can possibly get. To do that, you want to start by putting your feet in a parallel position, as though you're standing on thin train tracks. You can have your feet hip width or shoulder width apart, uh, entirely up to you, um, but just whatever's comfortable for you. Next, your hands. You want your hands to be relaxed by your sides. You don't want them to be bunched up into fists and you don't want them to be straight out. You want them to be nice and relaxed, perhaps a, a slightly cupped shape, fingers lightly spread apart. And now think about your head. Uh, for your head to be right, you want your nose to basi basically level out in front of you. Um, uh, you don't want to be too, too much up here and you certainly don't want to be chin to chest. So try and find a nice middle position for the head. The spine should be lengthened and upright, but not as though you're trying to strain yourself. The spine should be nice and relaxed, but pointing straight upwards. Sometimes the image is given of a golden thread that runs from right at the base of the spine all the way up out of the top of the head, out up there into the universe, and you're suspended from that, and it helps you to lengthen the spine, keep yourself nice and straight. So once you've found this nice neutral position, you should be able to stand here relatively relaxed, relatively comfortable. It's worth doing a quick mental checklist to see if you've got anything that is giving you any trouble. If your shoulders are sore, you can give them a bit of a shake, give your knees a bit of a shake, but essentially you're stood comfortably and relaxed. And now we can start to think about the breath. We rarely think about the breath. It's something that you've been doing all day, um, but now I'm asking you to acknowledge it. I'm asking you to think about it. Try if you can to just concentrate on the breath, and nothing else. Start breathing. Just normally, but just pay attention to it. Once you're satisfied you've found a basic rhythm, switch to breathing in and out through the nose, if you can. If you've got a blocked nose, then please don't, it's disgusting. Um, but if you can, just breathing out, in and out through the nose. This helps to regulate and control the amount of breath coming in and out. Also acts as a filter. Get rid of any nasties in the air as you're breathing it in. And it also acts as a temperature control as well. So breathing in and out through the nose. Now as you're breathing, keep that going. I'm asking, going to ask you to use your mind's eye, use your imagination to see the breath coming into the body and see it coming out again. You're just watching it from the inside. As you're breathing in and out, just watch it coming from the inside and out. And as you breathe in, as you follow it in, follow it all the way down and push it right down into the base of your belly. About two inches below your belly button there is um, a place that's really important in yoga and in martial arts. And we're going to try and breathe down to this centre position, this centre of balance in you, pushing it all the way down there. As you breathe in, all the way down. And then let it come out 
nice and naturally, nice and smoothly. And then breathing in, all the way down. You feel your stomach expand and contract as you release. And keep that pattern going, keep that breathing, keep relaxed and just follow the breath. Just concentrate on the breath, coming in and out. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try and find a level of control over the breath. Because we don't think about it, we tend to just let it do its own thing, but we have a remarkable amount of control over this particular organ in the body. Uh, a control that we don't normally have over organs, it has to be said. You can't slow down or stop your heart by thinking about it, although I think that uh, some people will claim they can. Um, but the lungs we can all do. So let's give it a go. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you some counts. What I want you to do is I want you to follow the counts. We're going to breathe in for a certain count. We're going to hold the breath for a certain count. We're going to breathe out for a certain count. Okay, so just follow the numbers with me. We're going to start with breathing in for five, holding for five, and breathing out for five. Okay, so just take a breath to um, reset yourself, give yourself a bit of a shake, and ready to go. Breathing out, and breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Okay, how was that? Nice and easy. Uh, sometimes people feel that they get a little bit lightheaded at this point. Uh, and if you do, then don't worry about it. It's just your brain feeding off all the extra oxygen. Sit down if you need to, but it's not going to harm you. Don't worry about it. Let's try something a little bit more challenging. This time we're going to breathe in for 10. We're going to hold for five and we're going to breathe out for 10 as well. So we're retaining that breath for a little bit longer. As you get practice with this, you can do longer and longer and longer times. And some people can take great voluminous breaths that can last for minutes. Um, but for us, we're just going to go 10, 5 and 10. Okay, here we go. Breathe out and breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The arm movements are just for me to indicate, by the way, you don't need to do them yourself. You should remain completely relaxed. Okay, let's try one more. You can practice these regularly, uh, and in fact, you should if you're going to get any benefit out of this. Um, but we'll just do one more that I'll give you, then you've got three sets that you can take away and practice. But create your own, push yourself and see if you can see if you can create your own set. This is the last one I'll give you. We're going to breathe in for 10. We're going to hold for 10 this time, but we're going to breathe out on one. So we're just getting rid of all the air out of the lungs on that one beat, okay? Here we go, so it's 10, 10, and one this time. Breathe out, and breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and Okay, so there's your three different sets of counts. You can try your own, you can make up your own, but keep practicing them. Uh, next week, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, how we can use that breath control to find a level of calm. We're gonna give you another few uh, tips and tricks on how to deal with that. Uh, so look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Ta-ta. Bye.